so the topic of my talk today is 3D sensing. Uh, for those who do not know our company, your intelligence, we have a market research company uh, specialized in many fields of the semiconductors, including power electronics, semiconductor manufacturing, but also photonics, sensing, and packaging, etc. We also do have a branch that performs uh, physical teardown and physical analysis of semiconductor devices uh, based in France. All right, so I will uh, go directly to the scope of my presentation today. Um, so this is a, an overview of the, all the 3D test sensing technology we, we do monitor in our reports, in our technology and market reports. Uh, today I will focus, uh, sorry, uh, mainly on uh, on the three first one, like structural light, time of light, and stereo vision. I don't have time to cover everything. But there is a, a plenty of other really interesting technologies, such as <coughs> optical coherence tomography used also in medical. Uh, laser triangulation, which is really popular also in the industrial application for, for parts monitoring. Uh, Panoptic or computational uh, other technology more dedicated to niche market. And also a technology using uh, multiple frames, like uh, structure for motion, so the use of overlapping frame from multiple moving cameras. Time-gated, also computed tomography, quite popular in medical. So uh, today I will focus on, uh, mainly on, on three uh, sensing technologies uh, that represent actually more than 99% of the market in terms of volume for 3D sensing. Uh, the first one is stereo vision, so uh, just going quickly on the, on the principle, so it's mainly using two cameras uh, uh, with an overlapping field of view and to extrapolate the, the, the 3D uh, reconstruction of the scene. We have also structural lights, so quite popular for short range uh, 3D sensing. It consists of sending a, a light pattern onto the scene and get the reflected lights to get the 3D da data. So it's used an external uh, also lighting source. Another active uh, technology is time of flight, so sending pulse of light to a scene and measuring the, 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 the time delay between emission and reception to get the distance monitoring. All right, so this is just a rough uh, estimation as an introduction of this talk, but basically, for example, structural light of time of flight, they have the advantage to be active technology, so to use uh, a lighting source. So they are usually better uh, to operate indoors or into low light condition. Whereas traditional stereo, even if we can find active stereo, but actually, which is closer to structural light technology, uh, passive stereo uh, is uh, maybe better performing outdoors, and that's why it's still the technology of choice, for example, for drone navigation. Uh, usually, structural light also has a shorter range, uh, whereas stereo, uh, for example, for drones, can be extended to a few meters, like to, uh, to 20 meters uh, distance range. Uh, 